but yeah anyway so i want to apologize first and foremost because i hate when i like look up a hair review and people are like oh i'm going to provide an update or something and then they never provide an update um honestly i was just like i don't think anyone cares and i was trying to like youtube and vlog and all this other stuff and like i got a new job it's just been crazy and hectic and then i was just like really i don't think anyone really cares what's my little itty bitty opinion um so uh i want to apologize um this video is for the two people that actually asked um or one person but i think it was two people that commented on the video um and they wanted an update on this hair so since i filmed the first video which i think was in december i have worn this hair as like a unit so i made a u part wig out of it well kind of like a half wig because it wasn't a complete u um i made like a half wig out of it and i curl up my hair in the front my natural curl pattern does match this hair really well um however i do have heat damage in the front of my hair and i'm not cutting it off because it's the front of my hair um so i use a perm rod so if you if you if you're like oh my curls don't match completely and you want to get like curlers that match this hair pattern um you want to get a one fourth inch um like perm rod that's what i use um the one fourth inch flexi rods work as well if you want it like a little bit longer in length because the perm rods are short um so i had it in a unit then I kind of made like a kind of a full unit like I made a unit and it was like a U part and then I kept making it smaller and smaller and smaller so that it was like just a, like a quarter part like only one like only this part of my hair was out the front part uh, since then recently I detangled the hair completely um, because I took it off the bundles I detangled every bundle there was a bit of shedding because I never detangled this hair after um, it being in my head and I wore it in my head for like a month um and then i detangled it i shampooed it and i dyed it it is kind of like a burgundy color um it looks crazy right now but it's gonna get better what i do i use these three products now i use honey curls first i hope it's focusing again i cannot see um because i don't have my glasses on i use this first and i just tried this out and it seems to be working very very well i use this first on dry hair so i use this dry and then i wet the hair and i go back in with this leave-in and then while it's leaving i use this curly pudding custard whatever it is right and that seems to do the trick and then every morning um what i do is i just wet it and brush it out and it seems to last i do drive like an hour and a half um to get to my job so by the time i get to my job it is dry i am going to reset it i did not wash it again um because i didn't feel like getting my scalp wet and my scalp isn't dirty i've been moisturizing it um so like i just didn't feel like getting my scalp wet. so i take this and we're going to put it on dry and I used to not do this. I used to put on wet hair first, this, and then the honey um, curls. And it would always shrink up a lot. Like, shrink up so much. And, like, I was just like, what is the point? <laughs> so, I put this on. Make sure it really gets in there. And then I kind of treat this like my low porosity hair. Because my hair is low porosity. Um, and I find that doing the low porosity things for this actually work out best so this is warm water um, as warm as i can get it to put it in that bottle if you're just gonna hop in the shower use warm water it's the best for this hair then i take this tea single after it's wet and i just brush it down so you should be able to see the curls i can feel them very well um i don't always do the roots just because i want it to be like big and stuff And then after that, I take some of the leave-in, not a lot, like this amount for the amount of section I have, and even that was kind of a lot. Um, and I make sure my hair, my hands are still wet, and like this section is still wet. And I just kind of rake my fingers through it. Sometimes I do brush it just to make sure like it's going completely through. There's no tangles. Um, And then, if I can get this open, because now my hands are wet, 
I use a little bit of this curly custard. You can use as much as you want. I use a little bit. Um, I'm even gonna put some water in my hands just because it does act like a gel. So it does get like crunchy like a gel a little bit. And I don't like that. It drives me insane. Um, and I kind of just wipe my fingers through when I'm doing that. Yep. And then that is all. Now this is when I'm like setting the hair. Um, so I'll do this and then it'll dry. I wear it for the day. And then the next morning, oh, let me take off my watch, sorry. Uh, I don't wanna get it wet. And then the next morning, I literally just wet and brush it down. Um, that's because like, I mean, it's tight for hair. I personally, like when people are like, oh, I just put my hair in a pineapple and then I take it down and it's fine. When I put my like even natural hair in a pineapple, it stays up in that pineapple style. Um, I don't know how people like reverse it. <laughs> I don't know what y'all be doing, but I don't know how to do it. Um, again, I'm taking these large at sections just because this hair has already been set like a week ago and it doesn't mean that much, but I have noticed since I've been doing it for a week, like just certain sections that didn't get as thoroughly um, done because I'm a lazy hair natural. Um, whatever is the easiest and most convenient, that is what I'm going to do for myself because I don't have time. Like I don't, I don't have the patience, I should say. If there is time to do this, I just don't have the patience for it. Um, like, does that make sense what I'm saying? If I go in. And so, like, I use the honey curls. What is it actually called? Miss Jessie's honey curls. Um, I kind of do the same routine on my natural hair. So whatever I'm doing on my natural hair is what I am doing on this hair, and it seems to be working. Just because my natural hair is kind of like this. Um, like in terms of curl pattern. Now I will say before I started moisturizing, like moisture training my hair you could never see a curl pattern on my hair, like never ever. Um, so if you have 4C hair and you're like, oh, I have 4C hair so I don't have a curl pattern. You know how ludicrous that sounds when y'all um, natural Nazis say that shit? Like that sounds ludicrous. How do you go from straight hair to the most like extremely curly hair and then tell people, oh, well you don't have, you don't have curly hair. That sounds crazy. That sounds, so what do I have? Because 4C hair is not kinky straight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that sounds ludicrous. That sounds absolutely ludicrous. Um, <laughs> the thing is, for 4C hair to have a curl pattern, sorry, not have a curl pattern, to have a defined curl, because you can get it, um, you just have to moisture train it. So nine times out of 10, like, the higher, the more curls you have in your hair, like the tighter the curl, the lower the porosity. Nine times out of 10, you might have 4C hair and you might have a high porosity hair. Um, good for you my low porosity hair on the shit um i have to use warm water i have to use heat for it to like accept products like it's it's a lot um but it took me a long time to actually realize that and once i got it down um like i wash my hair every week when it's not in like a, a style like this i wash my hair every week and so washing my hair every week i also deep condition my hair every week and i just deep condition under um I deep condition under heat. Actually, when I do this, like what I'm doing right now to this, these extensions, when I do this to my natural hair, um, let me zoom out. I actually started using uh, my steamer, my hair steamer, and steaming my hair. Like this part is so small, I'm not even gonna reset it. I'm just gonna put water on it because it already has these products in it from last time. And I'm just gonna brush. Um, I always brush at the ends. This hair, like it needs to be detangled. Um, unless you're just gonna wear it wilder and wilder, which I just don't want to, um, because then you're gonna have a lot to detangle later. I detangle every morning. Um, I don't detangle it at night. So at night, literally after a long day, it's been breezing in the wind because I roll my windows down. I <laughs> goes in a ponytail. <laughs> I do not detangle at night. I do not wet it at night. I do not set it at night. Um, that's just not my vibe. If you want to do that at night, you can. I just feel as though it's not gonna 
necessarily set properly for me and that's because i don't know how like people who do their hair at nighttime and it comes out magically gorgeous and i don't know how to do that i have yet to learn that um it just doesn't work out for me but yeah anyway start moisture training your hair if you have 4c hair um start moisture training your hair if you have uh low porosity hair like your low porosity your hair is not taking in anything so you have to train it on how to how to take it in and i mentioned that to someone and they were like training you're part of white supremacy I'm like, no training because like as if you were trained for a marathon like you wouldn't just be like oh i'm gonna do a marathon and then just start running in the marathon people train for that so it's like my hair doesn't know how to take in moisture and therefore I'm teaching it how to do it. I'm letting it like I'm helping it progress. Um, that's so weird. Just because like I want to be able to have defined curls and I want my hair to not be dry. But you know how ludicrous. So there is some shedding. Again, this is because I do not detangle this hair until the morning. Um, it's Saturday morning, so the last time this got detangled was Friday morning. Um, I don't do this every day, so it's like if I'm not going out or anything, I'm not doing this, it stays up. So like on a weekend where I'm not going out, that means I, the last time it was detangled and everything was on Friday, and then start again on Monday. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing this simply because I'm trying to get out of like my routine of not doing my hair or doing anything for the entire weekend um and also because you guys wanted this video and you wanted an update i do highly recommend this hair um but it's not low maintenance like it's as if you you know treat it like your natural hair if you if your natural hair is like low maintenance and stuff um this might be too much for you like this might be too much for you if i uh hadn't been moisture training my hair and hadn't been taking that step to like make sure my hair was properly you know taken care of and starting that journey this hair would be too much for me just because like I don't like doing my hair I don't like waking up and I don't like brushing it um like I just don't like doing shit to my hair it's, it's a lot of work um again it does not take this long in the morning it might take me like maybe 10 minutes five or ten minutes I've never actually timed it um, I still get out the house on time because that was my biggest concern like oh am I going to be able to get out the house on time but yeah um, and if you're wondering because I live in hot ass Florida like this it hasn't been like frizzy or like frizzed up since I started doing it this way um, since I started doing the honey curls first dry hair wet hair um, then leave in then custard like it hasn't and it doesn't shrivel up as much like it still shrinks that's like a non-negotiable um it still shrinks and i can't tell you what the limbs are because i don't remember i'll put it in the description because i like i know from what i order but i know i order like at least 22 i think maybe even 24 i don't know um there's probably like some 16 in here i kind of just was <laughs> I kind of just like I took out the the pieces from the um from the like wig I made from it and I just kind of just left it in that order and called it a day. It might lift three, maybe four shades, maybe, depending on how dark um, like your bundles are, but it, it's not going to lift more than that. Even if you bleach it again, like it, past a certain point, it's just not going to, it's not going to lift. So don't get this and be like, oh, I'm about to have 613. No, no. <laughs> and I didn't bleach the hair before I dyed it burgundy either. Uh, I didn't bleach my real hair before I dyed it burgundy. 
simply because the dye that I brought is from L'Oreal. It's like L'Oreal High Low, I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's made for brunettes. It's made for dark hair. So therefore I didn't, you're not supposed to bleach your hair or anything. It's made for dark hair. Um, if you do decide to use that, be prepared. It's hot, it's so, it's so strong. The smell is so strong, it's unbelievable. So I'll get a close up of the front. Uh, and I'm probably gonna speed through all of this too. So now we're wetting it. And then Just living out in Florida, uh, in Miami. Like, what the hell? Sorry, I was not prepared for that. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how the hair looks. And then what I do is I kind of just brush through it again sometimes. And I'm like, oh, I need a new nail. Um, and then I just kind of make sure, like, let's see. Again, I can't see, so sorry, I'm all up in the camera. So see how it was supposed to be like a skunk stride? It, it was supposed to be banging, banging. But the, the, you, that's a one downside. So the pros of this hair, I would say, are one, it's cute to death. Um, it doesn't shed a lot to me in terms of like, if I'm walking around, I have to worry about leaving like a bunch of hair all over the place. It sheds in terms of like, this is how much hair came out from the brush, just from this detangle session. Um, again, though, I don't detang I only detangle this hair once a day in the morning. Um, I'm also always rushing in the morning because I'm like, oh, I have to get to work. This is like the most time I've spent just sitting down and brushing it out. I'm trying to see how long this was. <laughs> um, this is how long I spent like actually sitting down and brushing it. I typically don't do that. Um, if you have a like your favorite brush, like if you have a curling brush that you like, to use try it out if you don't have a favorite curling brush and you're like hey 
because uh, all my curling brushes, like, they either fucked up my curls. Like, I mean, my curls are not as defined. So when I try to define them, it's, like, it doesn't go with the brushes slow, if that makes sense. Um, the way that this is set up, my curls actually, like, pretty much do a good job with it. Um, I have the same problem with this hair too. Like if I was using like a Dolman brush it, or like a curly hair brush, I don't know. It just doesn't set it the way that I want it to be set. Um, again, I would say I would recommend hot water for this or warm, like warm water. Um, you can do this in the shower. I just don't like getting my scalp wet if I don't have to. Next time I probably will because I'll be washing my hair. Um, so yeah, I do my hair like this. And then I take the blow dryer and I um, I have a diffuser but I don't use it for this hair because I don't want it like down like this. I like it to be like kind of big. Um, let me go blow dry my hair real quick and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is my hair after I blow dry it. Um, I honestly didn't do anything else to it. Um, Actually, I hope I haven't been like looking out. If it's like, oh, I've been looking off this entire time. because so I'm looking at the little viewfinder thing. And this whole thing is new, which is why I didn't wear my glasses. Because you can see like there's a glare and stuff. But I'm trying to see if I can see you. So, um, yeah, this is it after I blow dry. And again, I do not, I personally don't use a diffuser on my blow dryer. But I'm doing this hair just because for one, I know it's going to shrink up. Um, and two, like I'm on my way to work. And I work an hour and a half away from where I live. So I am in the car with like the windows down. Sometimes um, if the windows aren't down, then the AC is definitely blasting on. And because of that, I know that my hair is going to dry. So I typically use the blow dryer and I just like blow it like this, like going back and forth on cool air, going back and forth. And that's just to kind of help create the volume. Um, that's what I did today again, but because I'm, I know that like, I'm not going to be in the car for an hour and a half, I did scrunch it up a little bit just to kind of get this shape. And then what I do also is because I don't want my back to be flat because I, um, just, I always forget about it. I just lift this up and like, I blow dry the roots. Um, <laughs> so, and then I just let the rest air dry. So it's not full, like it's not damp, damp. But it's not fully dry either it's kind of like product wet if that makes sense um the first time i sewed it in and then i kind of just like crocheted this part in so that it's flipped over into a part um and then yeah that's it honestly if you have any questions no you know what i wanted to do a pros and cons so my biggest con for this hair is just like the dyeing process just because like I wish it would just dye better um again I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like being more natural and I get that but then like also can y'all provide different colors and I know it technically can be bleach I believe like when I say bleach I believe like I know it can be dyed dyed I'm pretty sure you have to like bleach it to get it at least like four shades lighter three to four shades lighter and then dye it but I, again I'm I'm lazy so whatever one step process I can do that's what I'm going to do um because I see hair does actually like carry wigs in this texture and I believe they have like a burgundy one now so I so I know it can be dyed but I also think that um like they dye it first and then they set the curl pattern and so it's an easier process um for them in terms of dyeing so that's like my biggest con with this hair um I do wish that like this to me is not a lot but like in a perfect world it'd be even less and i say this is not a lot because for one i only detangle it once a day if that um and two it's it, it really is long curly hair so like if i was to stretch this out it's almost to my boob like you get what i'm saying here let me stand up it's like right here it's right here the longest part is right here. sorry i just look some hair out the longest part of this is right here. So that's like mid boob. Um, so that tells you pretty much how much the shrinkage is on it. Um, which that's neither here or there. Like, oh, there's nothing we could do with that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that would be my biggest con is just the dyeing process. And that's only a con for me right now because I'm like, oh, I'm trying to dye my hair. If I was trying to dye my hair, it wouldn't be a con at all. 
Um, my pros for this hair is one, I love the curl pattern. I did get the Mongolian um, like type of hair. So I do also want to order this in Indian hair just to see um, what the difference is. So I like icy hair. I'm probably going to order hair from them again when I like need to or have to. I'm keeping this hair in circulation. Thanks for watching and asking questions on my previous video.